And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis. Inside me is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Liga Portugal. It's Porto, and they face Santa Clara. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And a look at the starting lineup for Porto. Pepe plays alongside Marcano in central defence, and the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And the match begins. Pepe. It's with Wendell. Uribe. Mehdi Tarami. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Well, it didn't go to plan in the end. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. A very effective play, and they might be onto something. Take it away. Now options are plenty. Well shown inside. Just the clearance that was needed. Can they forge ahead? Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. And the referee now going back to deal with the earlier incident. A yellow card it's going to be. How can they make something happen? Pepe. It's with Wendell. A chance to whip it in. He's protecting it well. Must be! Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. And taken short. Firing it towards goal. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Well, the crowd are driving their team on here. They're surely going to score soon.
going short. And showing good defensive judgment. Well, Porto have certainly controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes and they're playing really well and creating chances. It's surely only a matter of time before they take the lead here. Otavio. Well, they could run onto it here. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Could take the lead. Oh, great block. Counter attacking, very much an option. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Eva Nilsson. And well, he stopped them in their tracks. Pepe. He continues his run. And the keeper showing tremendous command. Short corner taken. It's a perfect challenge. Mehdi Tarami. Disappointing pass. In with a chance. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Now, sending it in. Well cleared away. Will it happen this time? Foiling his opponent completely. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, such is the lot of an attacking player. Some days it works for you, on other days, not at all, Stuart. Well, as the touch map shows us, he hasn't been getting into the right areas to cause damage. He's such a good player around the box, but not today. He's been disappointing. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Just the challenge that was required. Teammates available. to play and a Porto throw in coming up Steven Eustachio now counter attacking possibilities here read it superbly to take back possession And just losing control of the ball, and it will be a throw-in. And they need to get tighter. And a throw-in forthcoming. Good work from Porto to win it back. Eva Nilsson. Now can they counter clinically? 
Dangerous looking through ball. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Misao. Taremi. Eva Nilsson. A creative look about this. And team match to play it to. And didn't seem to be too much in that offside decision. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Who can he pick out? And space for him to cut in. And since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage. Take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. And short it is. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? What a vital intervention. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. And deciding to go short with this one. Real chance. Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And thumped away. Could be threatening. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? So almost at full time, and the home side on course to eke out a narrow win. Stuart, your thoughts? Yeah, just about edging it overall. It's been a really tight game, hasn't it? Chances at a premium, and you have to praise their defending in that regard. Just got to see out the final few minutes now. No silly mistakes at the back. Flag up, tight offside. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Galeno. Now with Toremi. Can he finish? And the keeper flings himself at the ball. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. Delivering it. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively.
The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, what a good finish to the game that was. They just wore down the opposition, and in the end, they got their reward. That's a really good win for them. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent, and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.